Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hope you're doing well. So, what I found interesting was that there's a, a female influencer. I think she's considered a men's rights activist. I'm not going to name her. There's no need for that. What I will do is I'll speak in generalities because I started thinking about this person's behavior. And she's a feminist. But she's some type of hybrid feminist or something. She reacts to TikToks of crazier feminists. And this chick, she has two kids by two different men. And on her Patreon, she posts erotic pictures for her male audience. And sells them underwear and whatever. And she often tries to make men, I think, more emotional. She makes posts about, you know, men are taught not to be emotional, and she has these kind of weird takes that I don't agree with. And one thing in particular that I found weird is that she's with, I think, a guy who is not the father of her very young child, who's not even one year old yet. And she is posting these erotic pictures to men she claims to care about. What I find odd is that if a woman considers herself someone who's trying to help men become better, protect their psychology, and stuff like that, how is she not acknowledging that the porn industry is something that really harms men? And she kind of, well she is a liberal, and she has this weird kind of double way of being that I find odd. Is that she attacks women on TikTok for their craziness. Yet she is dishonoring the man she is with by doing erotic pictures on her Patreon for her fans. So it's kind of odd to me that the men in her audience... They're not really picking up the hypocrisy there. It's like she's claiming to care about men and to want them to find good women. Yet she herself has got two different baby daddies and is dishonoring her boyfriend, whatever he is now, by posting lewd pictures online, thus proving she herself isn't marriage material. Why would any man want to take advice from a woman who just had a baby and is a mother of two and doesn't have the decency to cover up and is pushing porn on men and obviously not being a good girlfriend because she's not protecting her man's emotions. And if he allows her to post such pictures, she has attracted an inferior man. And if she's attracted an inferior man, why should she be telling young men how to be? You see what I'm saying? So for me, it's kind of interesting how men will pay lesser women for money to see their bodies, but they don't really promote or get around like intellectual women I'm sure there's some psychologist or some other person because this is a non-Muslim we're talking about that can help those young men right and young men shouldn't look to a woman who can't even keep her clothes on as a role model now I've listened to a lot of her videos she does lots of shorts and stuff short videos but it is kind of creepy just the glaring hypocrisy there. Now she gets attacked a lot by even far lefter feminists for what she's done and I find that quite sad. So she is risking a lot in her safety just for defending men. And so I can't totally bash her but I just really hope that some men can kind of pick up on the hustle that the chick is selling you underwear She's aiming her body towards the male audience. And she's still selling feminism and liberalism. 
And how can a woman claim to care about men if she's selling feminism and liberalism? Because feminism caused all these problems that these young men are going through, which is causing the MGTOW movement, the Red Pill movement, because the feminists and the MGTOW and Red Pill dudes, the non-political Red Pill dudes, right? They are, well, you know, the two sides of the same coin, I'd argue. And they both make the, the genders go nuts with each other and have resentment towards each other. And I just kind of hope men will take a step back and realize that no man should be okay with his woman posting erotic, erotic pictures on a Patreon platform and no good woman should want a man to let her do that for her own safety, right? Because think about this chick who would do something like that. She complains about having stalkers, right? And she chats privately with these people who are on her Patreon. And she's not a Muslim, so she's having these long, probably impermissible conversations for us that are not based around knowledge, but emotions, stuff like that. And so if you think about it, you're like, wow, this chick constantly dresses inappropriately, just had a baby, doesn't have class to kind of put her clothes on, not even on her video she shows too much, and then now that she's had the baby, she has two kids now, and she's still doing that. It's like, why would you feel like this is a person who you should look up to? She's got quite a large following, by the way. So, apparently there is is an audience that likes her material. So, I guess she found her niche. But I just hope that some young men will hear my point. And that you want to take advice from a woman who overcame the lust factor. And who has the discipline to be modest. Now, if you're a non-Muslim... I'm not trying to say that force you to, you know, lit, watch every hijabi or niqabi, right? Or every woman in a burqa. But what I am saying, though, is that if a woman is using her body and then, you know, trying to get something from you, you know, the body is a form of manipulation. It's a weapon that women have towards men. And the more flesh you see, the more clouded your judgment becomes, the more hot-blooded and lustful you become. And the more you're enticed to see more and more and more, right? And if you get a partner, you get married, right? You have a spouse. You really should think in your heart, is it right for you to be part of a Patreon where she has lewd photos and where she's promoting your woman to feminism, which is causing marriages to fall apart? So how can she be a men's right activist if she's promoting the things that are destroying the minds of young men? Simply reacting to those women isn't going to stop them from being insane. You have to let go of liberalism, secularism, atheism, and feminism in order to get rid of that problem. You can't prune that tree. There's too many thorns. It... That ideology has shown its merits. It's shown what it's about. You can't... There is no, like, oh, feminism 4.0. <laughs> you know? No. We've gone through the fruits of that rotten tree and seen it's infested with worms. And that is destroying marriages, sanity, and purity, and is a rebellion against God. And... This is something to think about for the young men, right? Would you want to be a cuck and have a chick who's pimping herself on Patreon, but then claiming, oh, I'm doing it for the men so that these mean feminists don't belittle them? What kind of guy falls for that? And what kind of guy would prefer his woman to take off her clothes and put on lingerie instead of providing for the family? You can judge a woman quite greatly by the type of man she attracts. 
And who's wearing the pants in that relationship? It's obviously her. So, why would you take man advice from a feminist who has a cucked male? And who is being a dishonorable person? And how she conducts herself online, behind her paywall, and with her overall philosophy. So, this is another reason why we need more Muslim men doing dawah and proper, you know, Muslim sisters. The Kabi Diaries is really good. Scottish Reaver teacher. These are women who they have a lot to offer because women have to see something beyond these lust peddlers, these hedonists. They have if they don't if they see no Muslim women, and all they hear is the ex-Muslims talking smack about how oppressed Muslim women are then people are drawn away from Islam because when every time they think of modesty or the hijab, the niqab, the burqa, you name it, the jilbab, they begin to think of oppression and lack of freedom and you know they have this strange feeling and clash within their mind. So if we have sisters who are encouraging education, self-improvement, motherhood, pro-pregnancy, anti-abortion, you know, who encourage reading the Quran, who encourage prayer, who encourage family first, career, you know, second, school third, right? If we have women who are leading by example, this can help. This can really help because sisters, women, they need to see another woman do it. It's not enough just to see a man do it. If she's single, some sisters will see what a man says and then copy it because they want to get a man like that. But if the woman is already kind of in her ways, sometimes it takes a woman to help a woman. And so I really encourage more sisters like Brother Daniel Hikikichu's wife. She writes great articles that I really like reading. And, you know, more sisters could write articles like that. You know, so many things we all could do, you know, to help the non-Muslims see that there is rewards in being modest and curtailing your passions and reining in your emotions because if we don't do it the men will seek out women like the chick I'm talking about and they're still gonna be going in circles and they're not going to realize it until they see a contrast of that. Until they see a woman who's done the opposite. Then they can compare and contrast and see like that chick. She's obviously got good points sometimes. But if you wouldn't want her as a wife. You wouldn't want her to marry your brother or your son. Maybe don't take advice from her that much. You know what I'm saying? So just think about it, brothers, who you support. And, you know, if you see a young non-Muslim supporting a chick like that, I'm not trying to get in the way of her of her hustle, right? I'm not trying to, she's got a kid to feed, whatever. There are better ways. But maybe just advise them. So they're not like a, a woman who is more moral and more better who you could give those funds to. Maybe she's volunteering or she wants to start her own little mini business, you name it. Someone better to help who's more honorable in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than a chick who is pushing porn, cucking her man, being a hedonist, not being the ideal example of a proper mother who should be classy with composure, but rather she's ratchet, ghetto, and disgusting. You know, you should think about it, you know, and hopefully also more Muslim men will start creating things in the manosphere to help brothers understand how to be more like the Sahaba and stuff like that because young men need it. So we have a lot of work to do essentially is my point. Let me know what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? What's your thoughts?